He went to college in California. It's, it's probably well known that he's probably wanted to play for a California right. team his entire life. I think from a competitive standpoint, he didn't want to join the Lakers because obviously you're playing alongside LeBron, you're playing alongside AD. I feel like he wanted to compete against them. I wonder how much of that has to do with Ka the Kawhi's recent resume and what his legacy would be. What would winning a title with the Clippers, Broussard, do for his legacy? I think it depends on when he won it. If he wins it in three or four years from now, I think the discussion kind of remains where it is now. He's one of the best players of this era. How does he match up with these guys? If he wins it next year and LeBron is still looking great, like a top five player, for Kawhi to go to a team in back-to-back -back years to lead two teams that have never been to the finals, let alone won a championship, to championships, then I think you begin to compare him Okay, where does he, you know, rank up historically with the Durants and LeBrons and Larry? I mean, the best small forwards of all time. I think you begin to think about that knowing that I think that would be three titles in nine years and knowing that he's got room to win more, it would elevate him into a historical discussion. Whereas if he, if he wins it in a few years, I think it kind of remains this generation. Well, I, let's just, for the sake of this discussion, let's just say he wins it next year and wins finals MVP. Okay. He, if he were to do that, he skyrockets up the list of greatest winners in NBA history. He already has the best winning percentage of any individual player in NBA history. Now, some of that's circumstantial because he wasn't drafted by a bad team. He was drafted by a great team, but he still owns that record. He would have won a finals MVP when he was a role player. That year, he averaged 12 points per game in the regular season, won a finals MVP while stopping a three-peat in Miami, won a finals MVP as a hired gun in Toronto, stopping a three-peat in Golden State, and then winning a finals MVP the following year with the new organization of his choosing. He would, he, there would be almost no one in modern NBA history, aside from Jordan, who would have the winning resume Kawhi has. Mm -hmm. How you, he also would have the most unique resume in this regard. We've never had a player of that caliber in that discussion with the, relatively speaking, pedestrian individual accomplishments. He's been an all-star three times. His career averages are 17, 6, and 2. Like, that's because of the early years in San Antonio. Right. I okay. mean, Giannis, is, Giannis started the same way. Scottie Pippen started the same way. Now, they're not where Kawhi is yet. But they, they developed over time as well. Right, but... Like when, last few years, what, last three years in San Antonio, he was like 21, 25. Well, no, he's only averaged... Two years in San Antonio. Right, he's only averaged 25. 20 points per game in a season three times. Right, the last and, three years. Well, the, not the year he missed, three of the last four. The last three years well, that the, he played the, Yeah, fully. without the sure. nine games. The, but you don't get extra credit, though, for starting slow. Like when you, yeah, but I don't think you look at his numbers. No, like, just like it holds those against right. him. Right. It's, it's just... It's, like, I, I get what you're saying, because it's not just rings. If you if your individual numbers aren't great and you got a ton of rings, Robert Ory, somebody, you, nobody's putting you in a, of course. a high stature. But he would be different in that you'd look at the... Once he became a star, it was like over. He just started winning and beating everybody. So I, I don't think you'd hold the 17 and 6 against him. I, I would Well, I just think when you're talking about guys, you mentioned Durant, right? Right. Durant, right, so assuming Kawhi wins the title, Kawhi would have more titles, more finals MVPs. I don't think you could elevate him past Durant. Durant Not next year, but he, but eventually. Chris does. But Chris eventually? does. I mean, Kevin Durant joining Golden State? Right. Like, he joined Golden State? Yep. <laughs> they were up on them three to one? Like, he joins, like, I'm not into reducing someone's titles, but when you're making a comparison, Kawhi's title in Toronto, it's just like LeBron's title in Cleveland. Right. They are not the same. Of course. And that's Kevin, the thing. Dur Kevin Durant having two and Kawhi having two are totally different. Oh, I agree, but but the that their championship part of their resume would be different in Kawhi's favor. 
but the in individual accomplishments matter. Le first team All NBAs matter. League MVPs matter. Scoring titles matter. Like, and for for Kawhi, there. But championships matter more. I think we're getting and we're getting to an era where we are looking more at championships. And and it's one thing if Kawhi had won all those titles in San Antonio with a big three, you know, with Duncan and those guys. To last year's ring, as Chris said. No other stars. If he won it this year, yeah, Paul George is a star, but still, you, first year with the team, bunch of role players with you and Paul George, bunch of dynamic duos around yep. the league, including one right down the hall, and you prevailed, that would mean a lot. Like, Steve Nash has two MVPs. I'm not putting him ahead of Isaiah Thomas or any mm -hmm. many other John Stockton, many of these other great point guards who don't have that. Hey, let's look at Kawhi's last three postseasons. Last three postseasons averaging 28 points a game. He's shooting over 50% from the field, shooting 40% from three-point range. So, yeah, you can go back over the beginning of the career, and it does talk about the gradual process to other players being great compared to guys coming into the league, and they're great instantly. I think that the championships, they tell more of the story. And there's so much of Kawhi's book that's not written yet that there's no need to be talking about it. Like, there's no need to be, how does the end? We don't know how it's going to end. If he wins another championship, don't let him win two championships. And I do believe that in this next three years, because Kevin Durant will be in his prime. He'll be back playing in some capacity in two years, like we sure. know. LeBron will be finishing up. There's other great players around. So I believe if Kawhi is able to win one in this era in three years after what he did in Toronto, then going to Los Angeles with LeBron them being crossed the hallway, he's in a special category, all right? We just haven't seen someone that mirrors the way his career has been. And, and that's, there's nothing wrong with right. that. There's never but there's been no a need for me like to make one. up stuff just to try to fill in the gaps. Kevin Durant and going to... Golden State and those two titles with Steph, who was a two-time MVP, they are less than what Kawhi has done. Oh, I listen the, the, on the winning part of it. I agree, but up until uh, up until the moment Kevin Durant for not tore his Achilles but strained his calf, was there ever a time in Kawhi Leonard's career he was considered a better player than KD? They're around the same age, around the same time in the league. The answer is no. There was never a time he was considered better than Kevin Durant. Now, I, I can't all of a sudden say because of what happened in the next month, and now again, we're giving him, for the sake of the argument, a title next year, that he just, oh, it's clear, it's obvious. Because it, championships might be the most important part of the pie, but they're not 90% of the pie. They're not all of the pie. The, the eye test, the, the what you've done throughout the longevity of being able to be a 25 and 10 or a 27, 7 Seven and five guy those types of things to me when we're talking yeah. about Larry Bird we're talking about the best this the is best. the thing I think is significant the people telling the story make sure you put an emphasis on what was going on in the NBA all right because Kawhi doing what he did after he tried to force his way out of San Antonio wanted to go somewhere they trade him somewhere as you would say trade him to another country yep. and he went up there and went roughshod through the league he can't help Kevin Durant got hurt but after he won the championship, you know what he had a chance to do? Join who you think is the best player ever. And you know what he did? He turned that down. And we need to make sure that we tell that story. Kevin Durant had an opportunity to turn down Golden State, but he didn't. Absolutely. And we need to make sure that we tell that story. I'm not trying to take away his championships, but let's just tell the story accurately. And, and, and Nick, you all players can also improve with hard work. Now, you're right. Yes. Kevin Durant has been better than Kawhi. But if yeah. Kawhi keeps working hard, you can say, well, at a certain point, Kawhi Leonard just became better. Right. Which he could. Kevin I, have like, all look these wide receivers. I have all these wide receivers. They say, oh, man, my numbers was so much better than you after eight years. I said, don't stop reading the book. <laughs> right. right. 100%. Because I got another eight years I'm getting ready to put on there, and six of them I'm being the Pro Bowl. So don't start reading the book when right. you're not finished. And Kawhi, that's what we need to do as far as his career, Durant's career. Like, it's not over. Steph Curry's a good example. I mean, his first few years, it took him a while to make Absolutely. an all-star team, and yeah. certainly to go to NBA. And whether he wins a title or not, to the point you made, his decision 
will be part of his legacy because oh, of how be good it was for the NBA. I'll to not you. join with LeBron yeah. and to not have we have one super team versus the rest of the Especially league. Especially if he beats him. Right. Well, regardless, it was good for the league. If he beats him, it's good for him. I got a call. Thanks so much. For I got a call. Appreciate Uncle Dennis it. And talk to him. Take a break. Much more First Things First good right stuff. after this.